short stories hold a unique place in the literary landscape. In their compact form, they can transport us to different worlds, introduce us to intriguing characters, and evoke various emotions. They are testament to the art of storytelling, showcasing the ability to captivate readers with brevity and precision. Welcome to my channel, I'm Katya Weinart, and here we dive into the enchanting world of literature and all things bookish. Today we embark on a journey through the captivating realm of short stories. But before we delve, remember to check out the links in the video description below. These will take you to the short stories mentioned at the end of this video and more. To fully appreciate the wonders of short story fiction, here are a few suggestions. Number one, embrace the magic of diversity. When it comes to short stories, embracing a variety of authors and genres is the secret ingredient to unlocking a world of wonders. By exploring different voices and genres, you'll open yourself up to unique perspectives and writing styles that will expand your literary horizons like never before. Number two, let the opening lines mesmerize you. Short stories have a knack for making an immediate impact. Take a moment to savor those enchanting opening lines that instantly draw you in by setting the tone and introducing captivating or engaging themes. Number three, unravel the intricate structure. In the realm of short stories, every word counts. Pay close attention to the artful storytelling techniques employed by the author. Notice the pacing, the art of plot development, and the arrangement of key events. How does a story unfold and leave you spellbound? Or not. <laughs> Number four, seek the heart of the story. Short stories often revolve around a central theme or idea that holds immense power. Seek out those recurring motives and symbols or vivid imagery that contribute to the key message that the author seeks to convey. Number five, immerse yourself in vibrant characters. Often they are, sometimes not. Even within the limited space of short stories, characters can come alive with depth and complexity. Plunge into the depths of their motivations, conflicts, and relationships. Observe how they transform or evolve throughout the narrative, leaving an indelible mark on your literary journey. Now, when I said sometimes not, I mean Occasionally, the main character is not the one that brings the story to life, but actually the reactions of those around them. So watch out for that as well. Six, embrace the narrative perspective. The chosen perspective can be a game changer, shaping your understanding as a reader of the story and the characters. Whether it's through the eyes of a first-person narrator, the lens of a third-person observer, or an unconventional point of view, Cherish the impact it has on your reading experience. That is cherish, appreciate. I think appreciate it. Number seven, relish the language's spellbinding charms. Short stories often employ concise and evocative language to convey profound meanings. So the author will try to masterfully use literary devices like vivid imagery, beautiful metaphors and similes. How do these literary tools enhance the story's enchantment or impact? <laughs> Eight, savor the delicious endings. Short stories, endings can leave you awestruck or lost in contemplation. Reflect on how the story concludes and its lingering impact on you and your interpretation of what's happened. Does it provide closure or leave you with a treasure trove of lingering questions. Number nine, take a break and reflect once you've finished the first story. Although short stories may be compact, they can still carry an immense amount of weight, emotional weight even. And if you don't take time in between, it can get a bit much to try and read several at the same time. Plus, short stories very often deserve your attention and 
that opportunity for reflection um, to fully appreciate them. Without taking that break, you can't fully ponder underlying themes, complexities of characters, and the overall magic that you've just experienced. Unless, of course, you hated the story, in which case that doesn't count. But it will elevate your reading journey to new heights. Number 10, engage, discuss, and share. The beauty of short stories lies in the conversations they inspire among fellow readers. So often I read short stories on my own. And last year I joined a short story book club and I really enjoyed that. I just couldn't get to enough of the online calls. Um, But I do think that if that had been a face-to-face group, uh, now that we obviously are back to normal meeting people face-to-face, I... I would have appreciated that, you know, like at a better time as well, uh, because it gives you that opportunity to really unpick things from another person's perspective as well. It's amazing how differently we can see the same story. Every interpretation is unique and valuable. So that discussion enhances your reading experience beyond what you could do for yourself by pondering it alone. Obviously, pondering helps, but um, yeah, someone else's perspective even more so. Anyway, to help you embark on the thrilling exploration of short stories, I have listed 10, uh, or I am going to talk about 10 of the over 25 free short stories that I have listed in the video description. So a quick note, uh, with The New Yorker, you may hit a limit for free reading um, because They'll let you have a certain number of articles they'll let you read, at which point when you've hit the threshold, they'll prompt you to subscribe. Number one, Passion by Alice Munro. A woman reflects on her past and her memories of encountering a charismatic bad boy doctor, contrasting this encounter with her at the time mundane life with her fiancé. Number two, fruiting bodies. An alien fungal infection has ravaged a faraway planet, turning all but six of the colonists into ravenous arinkaris, I think it was called. Anyway, Inyama, a mycologist, is her species' last hope, but it's not expertise her fellow survivors want from her. Number three, The Story of an Hour by Kate Chopin, a tale of a woman who experiences a brief moment of freedom and self-discovery after hearing the news of her husband's. Four, The Grotesques by Sarah Hall, a captivating story that weaves together themes of love, art, and the complexities of human relationships. Now, this is actually one that I asked uh, the Codex Cantina to look at and discuss um, on their channel as a patron uh, via Patreon. Uh, So if after reading this, you want to get someone else's perspective, do tune into their channel. You'll find it. It's a past video um, going back to 2022, I think. Next up, The Lottery, a very well-known one from Shirley Jackson. A chilling tale about the dark side of human nature, exploring the dangers of blindly following tradition. The Tomato Thief by Ursula Vernon, winner of the Nebula Award. This magical novella short story takes you on a desert-inspired journey with a determined grandmother who must outsmart a mischievous spirit to save her granddaughter. The chronologist, a boy desperate to escape the drudgery of life in his small town, gets caught up in the machinations of a traveling timekeeper and slowly watches his town and his life unravel by the seams. The Embassy of Cambodia, a thought-provoking story from Zadie Smith that explores themes of immigration identity and the complex lives of those seeking refuge. Rusty's, a story by Nedi Okorafo and Wanaru Kahiu. I'm probably not doing a great job with some names. About robot uh, traffic cops in Kinshasa and what happens when things go wrong. Uh, This is on Clark's World magazine. Then we have The Swimmer by John Cheever, an intriguing and symbolic tale of a man's unusual quest to swim across his neighborhood, which uncovers the hidden truths beneath the surface. Another story that I asked the Codex Cantina to look at, so I I asked for two, I think, maybe more, but definitely two, I remember. Oh yeah, there was a Stefan Zweig one as well, which I can't remember the name of, but anyway, Cream. I have linked Cream by Haruki Murakami 
And this story was looked at by the Codex Cantina, again, as part of this uh, Patreon, monthly Patreon pick. And um, interesting discussion on there. So if after reading Cream, clicking the link in the video description below, uh, you want someone else's perspective, then, you know, uh, check them out. I hope these freebies will keep you entertained. Happy reading. And until next time, uh, do let me know in the comments if you have read any of the ones that I've listed in the video description or any of the ones that I just mentioned. Um, and I hope you enjoy them. Let me know, you know, come back after reading some of these and uh, give me your views. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. Thanks. Bye.